Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. This week, we're going to be taking a look at a suggestion from our friend, the Games Librarian. He has uh, recommended we take a look at Wing Commander. Now, Wing Commander is a game series that has always interested me just because I am a massive fan of the OG space simulator games. And, well, it doesn't really get too much more OG than Wing Commander. However, specifically today, we're going to be looking at the port for the Sega CD. Uh, the game originally was produced for DOS and then four years later released on the Sega CD. And with it came some visual compromises, boo, because console. But it also came with some upgrades in the audio which is interesting. They took full advantage of the CD capabilities of the system. Now, um, I have some blurb and some information here, so let's take a look. So, Wing Commander is a seminal space combat simulator game that was originally released for DOS in 1990 and later ported to the Sega CD in 1980, uh, 1994. Developed by Origin Systems and published by Mindscape for the Sega CD. Now, interesting side note here. Uh, it was made by Chris Robert, and he is the guy that is also making Star Citizen. So... Yeah, Star Citizen and Squadron 42 is a direct spiritual successor to the Wing Commander franchise. And a game that I backed over a decade ago. <laughs> Still waiting, you know, patiently. The, the HOTAS and, uh, well, basically the HOTAS system that I bought for it. Uh, years ago, which is the hands-on throttle and stick, is, is you know, long bought and long broken and gone <laughs> in the time that I've waited for this game to come out. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, so, the game takes place... Oh, the game places players in the role of Starfighter Pilot in the midst of an interstellar war between the Terran Confederation and the feline Kilrathi Empire. Gameplay... Players navigate through a series of missions engaging in dogfights with the Kilrathi fighters, protecting capsule ships, and completing various objectives. The game is known for its branching mission structure, where the outcome of each mission can affect the direction of the war effort and the storyline. Now, this is something that really interests me, to be honest. It's something that really drew me in with the Colony Wars uh, games. And you don't really see a lot of it, even these days, uh, you know, as a kid, I imagined that games going forwards were just going to get bigger and more advanced and more complex from a story standpoint. We obviously didn't get that. We got shinier graphics, loot boxes, season passes, and more expensive games. Yeah, don't know, I feel stupid. Anyway. The Sega CD version of Wing Commander included an enhanced audio capabilities, taking advantage of the CD format to provide a more immersive experience with higher quality music and sound effects. Due to hardware limitations, some compromises were made in the Sega CD port, such as reduced graphical details compared to the PC version. Wing Commander was one of the first games to feature fully voiced characters during the shipboard dialogue scenes, adding depth to the storytelling and character interactions. Interesting. Okay. The game's success led to a series of sequels and spin-offs, expanding the Wing Commander universe and establishing it as a beloved franchise amongst space simulation enthusiasts. Wing Commander for the Sega CD remains a classic example of early space combat simulation combining action-packed gameplay with rich narrative that has captivated an audience. Huh. Okay. Well, I think after that, it's time that we have a little look and play this game for ourselves. And that Sega CD... Uh, kind of boot up animation never fails to entertain me but one second the game is not loading good old emulation once more we're feeling 
press the start button. Well, I'm I'm trying to push the start button. Not much is happening though. It actually appears at my controller. Oh no, my controller's fine. She she has woke, woken up. I'm using my 8-bit Do M30 wireless controller for this. In the distant future, mankind is locked in a deadly war. Well, visually there, it looked quite similar to the DOS version. Ah, and there is our friend Chris Roberts. It is a shame what happened to the Wing Commander series, to be honest, because it's one of those games that was huge. Or should I say one of those franchises that was huge. There were films made of it and everything, and it just faded away with the ebb and flow of, I guess, what's hot in the video game landscape. Unfortunately, uh, space shooters and things did kind of take a bit of a back seat for quite a while. You know, we had the cover shooter craze, we had the first person shooter craze, and now we've got the Fort Shite craze. And the hero shooter craze, which, you know, I'm, I'm, oh, and the open world craze, of course. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not super into modern gaming, to be honest. I play very few modern games, but never mind. Anyway, let's skip all this. Ah, I see. So it's a very basic kind of looking. Um, so we have direction, normal or reverse. Well, as I don't know what normal is and what reverse is, I guess we'll go for normal. And then we can start the Vega campaign. Let's go. Get ready. I. Uh, uh. Game over. Wait, what? <laughs> that was short and sweet. Um... Can we can we try the the training again without dying this time? Ah, oh, God bless CD load speeds. Right. Okay. So ah, so we can select an enemy. That's interesting. These guys kind of look like um, something out of Battlestar Galactica. You know what? Let's go for those. Right. Okay. So the A button fires our primary weapon. D-pad controls. This is somewhat promising, actually. It controls very well. Maybe, just maybe, this is something that we might look into in the future. Or oh, we're getting some hard, we're getting some slow down here. And I think we just took a missile into the exhaust pipe. Do we have any missiles of our own? I'm not 100% sure. I think we fired one. <laughs> I hope it went somewhere good. Oh, we only have one laser now. Uh, now we have no lasers. I hope these things are good. Um, I'm I'm assuming <laughs> I'm assuming we're not doing so well. Yeah, we've got a lot of broken ship parts. I think I think this is almost it for us. Just finish me off, you coward. Right. There we go. We're done. <laughs> yeah, maybe we're not the right man for the job. <laughs> I guess we're going to find out. All right. So, uh, maybe training is not for us. Uh, I, don't, I think we should probably go back to wielding a mop. Um, so, we have paddling. We have angel. And we have shot glass. Well, let's uh, have a little chat to some of these, shall we? Belly on up, friend, and take a load off. You must be hot shot. I'm shot glass. Welcome aboard the claw. I used to be a pilot myself. Little flea bag shot me up so bad I couldn't fly. Eh, hey, I guess I flew with most every pilot on the claw. If you want to know how one pilot or another flies, old shot glass is the guy to ask. <laughs> Stop by when you're off duty and we'll talk more. Okay, you can see the CD loading um, 
<laughs> more data with each line. It's giving him a bit of a millennial pause there, which is quite funny. Uh, yeah, you know what? The CD audio for the voice lines isn't that bad at all. Not bad at all. So uh, we're aboard the Tiger Claw. I actually remember that now. That's what our ship is called. Let's talk to Paddlin. Or Paladin, I should say. Oh, laddie. Take uh, a seat and tilt a glass with old Paladin. I recall once and I was just a lieutenant like yourself there. We were flying patrol or the Accord, the fourth planet in the Alliance system. These four kill Rathe Salthe came zooming in with the sun at their backs. What's the point, monsieur? There is one, oui? I was leading up to it, lass. That day, we learned that a Salthe will always turn to the left. Hmm. It's got something to do with the way their engines and ducts are arranged. So when you tail a Salthe, what's to the left? That's where he'll go when he makes his break. Curious. So, they always turn to the left. It's kind of a design flaw, if you ask me. And we have Angel. Bonjour, Lieutenant. You are called Hotshot, no? <laughs> I am called Angel. I'm just reviewing some figures on our recent encounters with the Kilrathi. You would like to know what I have learned, perhaps? The Drothi is the Kilrathi fighter seen most in this sector. These figures show that 1.4 missiles are required to destroy the Drothi. While over 7 direct laser hits are necessary to destroy the same vessel. I hope this information is useful to you, Lieutenant. 1.4 missiles to destroy one, eh? So does that mean we have to chop 60% off one of them? Hmm. Curious. Well, we're learning some some things. Anyway, I like the way we're called Hot Shot, and so far we've had two goes at the simulator and failed spectacularly. All right, let's take a little look at the pilot's score. Major Cassie. Ooh. So sorties versus kills. So we have Lieutenant Marshall, Lieutenant Hot Shot. That is literally our name. Okay. Curious. 28 missions, eh? And 43 kills at the top. Major Casey. Well, I don't think we're going to be superseding him anytime soon. Let's go to the barracks. Well, well this looks like a miserable place. No wonder these flying flea bags are taking us down. Look at the state of our ship. So we can look at our medals. I guess we can. Second Lieutenant Hotshot, AKA Hotshot. NEO system, dateline 2654. And we have nothing to show for ourselves apart from an unshaven chin. That's not great. So we can return to the bar, we can go to the menu, or we can go to the mission hangar. Save the campaign. Don't think we need to save anything. We haven't done anything yet. Ah, mission briefing. A new system. We've got a lot of work to do, people. So let's get to it. The Tiger's Claw dropped from Jump Space seven hours ago at 0800. Blue Devil Squadron have first patrol. You Killer Bees have the next shift. You rookies will be flying with experienced pilots on your first missions. I want the rookies to fly as wing leaders. You vets keep an eye on the kids out there. Here are the assignments. Hotshot, you're leading Alpha Wing. Spirit will fly on your wing. She's quiet, but she knows the ropes. You're the wing leader, but if Spirit talks, you be sure and listen. Got it? <laughs> yes, sir. Good. Here's your patrol plan, then. Computer, display Alpha. You'll check three possible jump points at about 20,000 clicks out. There are asteroids near nav points two and three, so stay on course. 
Any questions? Yes, Commander. What are we to do if we encounter the enemy? Engage if the odds look good. Let Hotshot make the call. Next is Beta Wing. Your thoughts wander as the Commander makes the rest of the assignments. And back to the Tiger's Claw. Remember, this is no train sim. If you see the enemy, he'll be out to kill you. Be sure you do it to him before he does it to you. Well, I mean, we're gonna certainly try. Squadron dismissed. Okay, so, <laughs> so I'm in charge of her life, and I've already failed at the simulator twice. Ah, uh, I mean, hey, what's the worst that could happen, right? This is pretty intense for a Sega CD game. Ships look pretty cool. So we're part of the killer bees, I guess. At least that's what it said written on our ship. Oof. All right, we're live. Now, um, I don't know exactly what we're supposed to be doing here. I guess that's nav one. I have no idea what the controls do. The C button doesn't seem to do anything. Um, ah, okay. So the Z button goes through our nav computer. Right, so I'm guessing we can open up comms to spirit. Cool. But we're just going to have her follow us for now. The Y button brings up a map. Okay. Good to know. Alright. I don't know how to get back. Okay, so A is back. And then the X button changes our weapon, I guess. So that's our laser. Okay, and no internal damage, got ya. So I'm guessing we can't like speed up anyway. Uh oh, this is bad. Right, let's see if we can actually heroically defend. Uh, I can't understand what you're saying, love, sorry. I don't think we have any kind of missile weapons either which is questionable. Now, it would be nice if we had some kind of access to our speed. Right, so... Okay, we've got some readouts here. Now, let's see if we can't at least take one guy down. Don't want to be a complete and utter failure. Now, as cool as the CD audio is, um, I can't actually understand what they're saying, which is problematic. All right, let's just keep going with these evasive maneuvers. There must be a way of speeding up, surely. All right, he is coming straight for us. And their ship does seem to be reasonably durable as well. Oh, he is burning though. But our blaster is, I guess, running out of juice. Now I'm guessing Spirit potentially can die. And if she dies, I guess it's gonna be our fault. Uh, yeah, well, if you're ready to engage, then engage. Oh, nice. We actually got a kill. I was not expecting to get any kills. Alright, let's take this sack of shit out next. Now, they did say, I believe, is it seven laser blasts to bring one of these ships down? Right, well, you just engage. Now, 
It said we had a lock there. I don't know if there was a lock on us. Or what that exactly meant. This is definitely a game where you're going to have to do some research first, I think. But that's okay. It does appear that Spirit is okay. She's just floating around, minding her own business. Be nice if she joined in and helped me, though. Alright, I'm just gonna continuously blast this guy. Looks like we've done some damage to his engines. I wonder if there's a way of playing this on GOG. Because I think the fact that the game is lagging. Ooh, oh, I see. Ah, okay, so I'm starting to learn the display. So that's our shield. And our shield does recharge. Sweet. Okay, maybe we just were fighting a really powerful ship in the simulator. Possibly. Okay, now if we wait for him to turn back ground, let's try and engage this guy. Looks like he's moving. Ah, he's engaging spirit. Don't really want her to die. There she is, right in front of us now. Looks like she's actually doing some damage. Right. Wait, are they disengaging? Looks like it. Alright. Good work. Let's go back to our navigation. So, I guess um, after a while, they decide to just disengage, which is interesting. Now... Let's see if there is some kind of button combination to increase our speed. I don't even... Wait. So it's almost like Y is an OK button. Your honor is to obey. OK. So I don't know. When we're on this system here, I don't know how we actually change what we want to say to her. Do we have to hold the button down, maybe? No. Okay. The controls are kind of alien. Not going to lie. All right. Well, let's just continue on course, then. If I can find the nav. There we go. And continue on course. Yeah, so where it says set 200 there, there must be some controls. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to pause it a minute. And I'm going to try and look up some controls for this game. Okay, so I've looked up some things. So the start button seems to be some kind of shift. Um, there is a lot of controls to this game. And when I say a lot of controls, I mean a lot of controls. It's kind of crazy. Uh, I don't... Oh dear. And my controller has stopped working. <laughs> um, there we go. Right, we're back on. Cool. So we have fuel limits and things as well, which is kind of fun. So our tracker is now broken because we took asteroids to the face. All right, I kind of want to start increasing the speed. So auto target. Oh. Um. Yeah, I, I think we kind of failed our first mission. Right, I think I'm going to actually leave this game here. Uh, it's pretty interesting. It is always sad to lose a pilot, but it is especially difficult when he is as young as Hotshot. Ah, uh, poor Hotshot. <laughs> Chance to prove himself. <laughs> Company, ten, shot. He was a complete failure. <laughs> Farewell, Hotshot. You'll be missed. 
Is there any there for a few hours? Yeah, the laser doesn't really have the same impact as a projectile. I mean, okay, so this game actually seems like it would be, you know, pretty fun to play. The only trouble is the controls, like the Sega CD is not the platform to play. Um, without having a a list of controls up, I'd have to print them out and have them next to me because there's certain things like when you're trying to communicate, you have to hold down the start button, press A and C together, and then you have to push up and down to select your different commands. Like, yeah, I, this is definitely a game that you're going to want to play on the PC, I think. Um, it does look interesting, though. I think I'm going to watch some more things uh, on it, and I'm going to have a look and see if I can find, like, a GOG version. And if so, maybe we'll take a look at that uh, next week, actually. Because, yeah... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually using a six button controller as well. Now what's interesting is the six buttons are mapped. I was actually using X, Y, and Z, which are the uh, six extra buttons on the Mega Drive. However, in the official manual that I downloaded, it doesn't have the controls for a six button controller. Uh, yeah. This one's going to be a bit of a head scratcher. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.